Watch carefully. This looks like a regular car accident, but it's actually an elaborate crime with multiple players. Look at the right side of your screen. That white SUV is the lead car. The driver's on the lookout for women driving alone who are turning left into a Los Angeles shopping center. Once he spots one, he flashes his brake lights, a signal for his partner. Then he waves for the woman to turn in front of him. But wait, now he pulls up and blocks her way. She has nowhere to go. His partner in the oncoming traffic lane races up and smashes into her vehicle. And the lead car simply drives away. She was totally set up. Who's at fault if the police are called on this? The left turner. Ike Watkins is a special agent with the National Insurance Crime Bureau. He says the criminals have extensive networks, including doctors who create bogus medical claims. They only go two, maybe three times at the most, and they'll sign that they've been there 30, 35 times and lawyers who represent the criminals posing as injured passengers. By inflating the damage to their cars and their bodies, the crooks cash in on insurance policies. There's been a big upswing in insurance fraud. A lot of people aren't at work. They need the money, and they'll get involved in these accidents. Think this was just some random crime? Think again. Surveillance cameras catch the same white SUV at the same location another day. Same game plan, same result. The lead car waves a woman's car to turn, then blocks her way. The second car creates the crash. And the maddening thing is the criminals in both incidents were never caught. Here's what it would look like from the victim's perspective. I want to turn left into that entrance over there, and at first, the other driver waves me on. But when I go to go, he blocks my way. And then a second car barrels down and plows into me. Insurance companies lose money on these scams, but the victims can lose their lives. The women in the two Los Angeles accidents we showed you recovered. But in 2003, Alice Ross, a 71-year-old grandmother, was killed in a staged accident. When Ward Demolaire rammed his car into hers, she lost control and slammed into a tree. Demolaire was convicted of manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. They'd like to find a nice car usually with a lone female driver, a uh, newer car because they're pretty sure it will have insurance on it. These demonstrations, courtesy of the United Services Automobile Association, show the other types of staged accidents you should be aware of. In the panic stop, a criminal looks for a distracted driver, positions himself in front of them, and then slams on the brakes and claims painful back and neck injuries. In the swoop and squat, a crook drives erratically and pulls in front of an accomplice who then hits his brakes. And finally, the drive down is when a driver pretends to be courteous, waves you around his car, then crashes into you. What's so menacing is that in all of these staged accidents, the crooks make it look like you are the one at fault.